progress with your offense, especially with your quarterbacks? Yeah, I mean, a lot of progress. Um, you know, we, um, we're not holding back on the installs. You know, to me, um, I'm trying to get it all in, so at least we've heard it. Um, we kind of went over it. We watched the film on it. Um, just so now when we get back to summer, right, we can start back at the beginning. And when we get back to fall camp, we start back at the beginning, right? So we kind of keep doing that process over and over again. Um, but, you know, um, big progress. You know, when you got a lot in and, and you're, you're putting a lot on them, um, you know, for me, I think the quarterback is, is what, you know, is the difference between, you know, winning a championship and, and not, right? Um, you know, you got to put good players around them. But, but when it comes down to it, you know, I got to see what the quarterbacks can do. Um, you know, we're putting the ball in their hands. Um, we actually it took 86 passes in the scrimmage. Um, you know, it was really about 60 something, but there's about you know 12 times they should have hand the ball off. Um, you know, with the RPO stuff, so we're we're getting better in that stuff. But um, but you know, I'm putting them in some tough situations. Um, and our defense does a you know great job when it comes to um, just you know they're very complex. They do a lot of different stuff. So you know, when you're putting a new offense for a quarterback, um, you know. Um, it's, it's a lot easier when, you know, things are pretty base and all that, but with what coaching them do on defense, man, it makes it, you know, you're not just putting in concepts to beat them. You're trying to install the whole offense. So they're really having to understand, hey, this is where I go with the ball. This is what I'm looking at. This is what I'm, the process is, right, what the reads are. So um, it's actually making them um, tougher mentally because um, they're having to go through some growing pains, which I love. And um, to me, man, you know, the um, last two days have been, been good. We got a lot better last two days. You mentioned the RPOs. What are the, besides that, what are the growing pains with the new offense? Uh, the biggest thing is just communication, right? Um, everybody be on the same page, right? Um, as a quarterback, you know, I truly believe that uh, you want to be able to throw the ball before people break, right? You want to trust that that receiver is going to be exactly where he's supposed to be, right? So um, with a new offense, right, it makes quarterbacks sometimes be hesitant, right? Because you're all, you know, you make you want to make sure that they're where they're supposed to be, um, and just understand that the process of hey, how we call plays, you know, what the process we are mentally um, when we're looking at the defense and what we're trying to get accomplished in the run game. And then obviously, hey, how fast can, you know, when we do try to take shots, right? Um, and, and, you know, if it's there, we hit them, you know, we take that shot and we don't miss people when they're open, right? But when it's not there and they play the right coverage or they get us, how fast can we get the rid of the ball and not have a negative play, right? Like an incompletion or a sack. Um, those are things right now that we're trying to try to get done. And, and to me, um, today was a lot better. So we're getting a lot better. Have they adjusted to the pace pretty well, the, the tempo? Yeah, I think they are, you know. Um, you know, obviously, um, you know, different situations, right? Like if you're playing first downs, um, you're going to be a lot faster, right? First and second downs, you know, um, they have to understand, hey, we got to get on the ball. We got to get our eyes to the sideline and get the next play. Um, and then obviously you have different situations in practice. Like, hey, if we're playing third downs today, um, you're going to be a little bit slower, right? Sometimes you're going to um, check into good plays, check into good protections. So, you know, them understand like, hey, during these situations, we want to try to go fast, right? Um, and, you know, we did a fun, a really good um, situation I thought we did um, a couple days ago, which was basically, hey, we're playing third down, right? If we if we don't get the first down, right, we're trying to get the fourth and short and we can go for it, right? Um, or if you do get the first down on third down, now it's like a gas tempo play, right? We're trying to go fast. Does that make sense? Um, and now it's first and ten. So our guys understand that, hey, we got the first down on third down. Now, hey, let's go fast and let's go put the de get the defense on their heels. So, you know, it's not just always about going fast and the tempo. It's about the players understand the situation and knowing when we're going to go fast. So who decides when you're going fast? Do you have to communicate or do they just sense it? Yeah, um, the, you know, the way we teach everything is everything's fast, right? Like, because to me, I want to be able to line up fast. I want to be able to motion fast, right? I want to be able to communicate fast. Um, because the, the faster you can do with everything, the more it looks the same for the defense, right? Um, they might be thinking we're going fast, but we're not. Makes sense. They might be thinking that, you know, we're going to line up fast here in the red zone, but really we're about to motion. Does that make sense? So it's making them have to make their checks faster and, um, and try to put them in a, a miscommunication, right, to where we get an easy throw or we get an um, easy handoff on a run just because they're out of the box. Does that make sense? So, um, you know, just understanding why we're doing things and, um, and, what, and what we're trying to get accomplished. How have you seen Nate specifically grow over these last three or four weeks? Yeah, I mean, he's getting better and better, I think, every day. You know, the thing about Nate is he's a pro. You know, he's in here, ma'am, you know, I go home to my wife and to my daughter, um, you know, pretty late, and, and he's, he's walking in the building to watch film, you know, up here two or three um, hours a night till about 9 o'clock, you know. Um, he's just one of those guys that, that is a true leader at quarterback. He loves football. Um, he wants to be great. He doesn't want to just be average, you know. He doesn't just want to win, you know, six or seven games, right. He wants to go to the ACC championship. That's his goals, you know. And so he has that mentality. Um, and, you know, he has that type of – the one thing I love about Nate at practice is that 
it's never it's never no one else's fault. Right? I think that's what great quarterbacks are, is they take responsibility. Hey, it's on me. I got to get it fixed, right? And I think the kids see that, you know. When you got a guy back there that everything's on his shoulders and he's willing to take those responsibilities, it makes everybody else play with confidence because, you know, they know that, hey, he's the leader out there and, and he's going to try to, you know, um, the guy that everybody wants to follow on the field. How have you seen the other quarterbacks play behind him? You know, guys like Christian, who did start last year. Yeah, Christian, I'm still developing when it comes to just understanding, you know, what I want, you know. Uh, for him, you know, he man, he has a lot of talent. You know, that's what sometimes frustrating with Christian because y'all y'all watch that pro day. I mean, he can absolutely spin it, right? Um, but you know, he has to understand. Hey, it's okay to take the ball down. It's okay to take the flats, right? It's okay to um, just find completions because in this system, man, when the big throws are there, they'll be there, right? And they're going to be open, right? Um, you know, we get guys open. I think that's the biggest thing we do is you know we just don't throw the ball up, right? And hope our guys make a play, right? We're going to help them get open. Um, and he just has to understand the process of what I want as the offense coordinator. And he's trying to. He's getting better. Um, you know, and I think that's just, you know, for some quarterbacks, I truly feel it's hard when you're, you know, you've been through three or four different offenses, right? You're having to reprogram your reads, reprogram what an offense coordinator wants. Because when it comes down to it, when I call a play, you want the guy who's pulling the trigger to know exactly why I'm calling that play. What does Coach Bell want out of this play, right? Um, what does he want to get accomplished? And, you know, that's the process we're in with him right now. Um, uh, young guys, um, Eli Holstein's really taking it to another level. Um, you know, he's gotten better and better and better. Um, very calm, um, operates very well, understands what's going on, a lot like him and Nate. And, um, and he gets the ball of his hands, you know, he knows where to go with it. Um, you know, he's a guy who, he was a little bit behind because he had a hamstring in, in February, so he didn't get a lot of reps um, when they were, um, when we were doing stuff, you know. So for him, he's just got to be more, um, keep getting reps, just keep, keep getting more opportunities experience-wise. And then Ty's a guy who, um, you know, he's still a pup, I believe, you know. Uh, when it comes to him, you know, he got hurt last year. He broke his collarbone the first week of camp. I think it really hurt him, you know, as a, tr as a true freshman, right? Um, you know, he didn't get really any reps um, all the fall. And so he's basically like a true freshman again. So he's a guy who, you know, getting back used to the college speed, um, you know, really got back to um, throwing the ball um, how he needs to throw, you know, with the injury he had with his shoulder. So we're just trying to develop him to speed up the process, right, because he has a lot of ability. And Ty's a lot better athlete than people think. Um, I'm trying to get him to understand that, hey, you're a really good athlete. Use it, right? You don't have to just stay in the pocket and, and you know, hey, get out the pocket, make plays, right? Understand um, that, hey, it's, you can use your athletic ability. And then Duggar's just a baby, you know. Um, he's basically still in high school. Um, but he's a guy who he's always um, paying attention, asks good questions in meetings. Um, and he's a guy who you see the athletic ability, you know. Um, he's just got to keep developing and speed up the process, right? The game's a lot faster. I'm at this level than for him. So, so, um, but he's a great, great kid, and he wants to be good. So, you would say that Nate has a good understanding of what you want to happen in this offense with his decision making. I would say that Nate under, understands the offense. Okay. Like he's a guy who knows the offense right now. Like if you tell him to drop the concepts, the protections, the plays, oh, he's a pro, right? Now, does he understand exactly what I want yet? Nobody does. Does that make sense? Because it's so different. Does that make sense? Like the way we teach, the way we want to um, read things, the way we get the ball of our hands, right? Like this is not a stand in there, hold on to it, hold on to it, you know, take sack offense. That's not who we are, right? Uh, we're going to get the ball out, you know. Um, yeah, we're going to take shots, and when the, and the shots are there, right, we're going to hit them, right? We got to hit them when they're there. But when it's not, we got to understand, hey, into a blitz, where, do, where does the ball go, right? Like understand, I think that's the biggest thing playing quarterback is understand where your hots are at. Does that make sense? So, you know, if they do blitz us on first down, bam, we get a four or five yard gain out second to five. Does that make sense instead of throwing an incompletion? So that's just with reps, understand that, hey, I, my hot's right here on this play. Hey, my hot's here. Does that make sense? And he just has to keep repping that and understand that. You need that understanding, though, by September, right? I mean, right oh, now yeah. they're, they're not, they're, they don't have it, but they need it eventually. Yeah. Well, that's why, you know, we, we talk all the time. We got five months, guys, right? Five months. Five months is a long time. That's half a year, right, basically, right? So we got a long time to get better. You know, um, this is the first time, you know, this is the first time that, that this week, that they've even seen install five. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, because we really went through one, one through four during February, right? So today, this week was the first time they seen install five. We still got three more to go, you know? Um, and guess what? We'll start back in the summer and install one, right? And then we'll go back all the way through all of them. So just understand that, hey, you know, um, they're going to keep learning. We're going to throw everything at them because to me, a great offense is, you know, when you get to week seven, week eight, week nine in the, in the season, right? You're competing for a championship, right? To make the ACC championship, right? You don't want to be a team that goes out there and you're doing the same things. You have this, you know, defense has figured you out, right? 
you want to be able to attack people and, and, and be able to you know, run your whole offense when you got to go win tough games in the season, right? To make the playoffs, right? Or make the championship. So that's our mentality, right? Put a lot in. Um, see what our quarterbacks are really good at. You know, like to me, the reason that we're putting everything on Nate and putting everything on the quarterbacks because by the first game, I'm going to know what Nate's good at. With all the tips he's had already in the first um, part of um, half of spring, shoot, man, I'm going to know who Nate is as a quarterback. And I'm going to know what his strengths are, what his weaknesses are. And then it's my job after fall camp, hey, this is what Nate does well. Let's put him in the position to be successful. Does that make sense? One more before we get the shot. Anyone else? You mentioned a few times about receivers and taking shots when the shots are there. Which your receivers have shown that they can be that kind of guy who can be a deep threat you know, when the opportunity presents? So who? Which your, yeah, which your receivers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think the guys, you know, we've had a lot of guys make plays, you know. Um, I think, you know, when it comes down to it, you got guys like Tate. Who's 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 playing outside now? To where now he's a he's a he's a problem when it comes to he. Know, we knew watching film that he can win versus press. Um, he's created some big explosive plays down the field, and then obviously now you know you can move him inside and move him around to where now they don't really know where he's at. Does that make sense? So he's gonna create big plays. Kenny Johnson created two big plays today. Um, Sincere Lee um, has probably caught the most deep balls on the team. He's last I think last two practices he's caught at least three balls over 60 yards. Uh, Raphael Williams, who's been out um, this week, um, caught three touchdowns in the scrimmage, you know, and um, creates explosive plays. And then the young guys, you know, um, you got Zion, he's created some big plays. Um, Lamar caught a deep post, um, which was a great catch over his shoulder yesterday. So to me, get those young guys a lot of confidence, right? Um, put them in position to, to go have success and to make them feel like, hey, I got a lot of room to get better, right? I have talent. Now, how do we get that talent out of them? Does that make sense? And we got to push them, we got to hold them to a high standard. You know, we're all holding everybody accountable to, to the same way. I don't care if you're the number one receiver or the number 12 receiver, right? We're going to hold every time to, hey, you got to go win. You know, and when your balls to make the play, understand that the quarterback's going to take that shot and you got to go make a play. And so, um, you know, we've created some big plays, and uh, but we just got to keep doing the little things, right? A lot of times the big plays are there because everybody's doing their job and the receivers are understanding the depth and the timing and understanding where the ball is going to be thrown. Does that make sense? And now the quarterback don't have to wait for the receiver to break. He can just throw it to a spot and know, hey, Tate's going to be right there. I don't have to wait to see him open. Does that make sense? And so, um, you know, I think we're, we are doing that stuff. Coach, thank you very much for your time.